Hello and welcome back to Swift Goose. In this sprite kit tutorial, I wanted to continue where we left off with our last tutorial on player movement and show you how to make a camera node that follows your player around as you move throughout the scene. This is very easy to do. Okay, so if you recall from the last sprite kit tutorial video that we did, we basically created a player movement uh, scene that will allow you to move your player around by clicking. It shows a little node to tell you where the player clicked and where they're going to move to. And they move at a constant speed. If you missed that video, I will put a link to it in the description. But what we want to do now is make it so that the camera actually tracks the player around. So that way we get kind of that RPG or action RPG adventure style camera. It's very simple to do this. So let's come back into our scene here and do var scene camera and we'll set this to an SK camera node. Scroll down a little bit here. Now above our player, we can just set our scene camera. So the scene itself has a camera variable equal to the new node camera that we just made. So now we've created a camera. It doesn't actually do anything yet because we need to set the position of the camera. In order to do this, we could scroll all the way down we have our update function, which is called each time before the frame is rendered. Here, we can put camera.position.x is equal to player.position.x. And let's copy this and paste it for y as well. So essentially what this is doing, every time update is called, the camera position for x and y is going to track the player position. Now when we run this, you'll see that when we click around, the camera actually follows us. And if you want me to prove this a little bit further, we can add an additional node in here that is stationary so you can see how we move around the object. Very simple to do this as well as a quick test. So let's copy our player and put player2 here. And copy all of this. And basically add a second player into our scene here. And we'll just put it at 50 by 50 so it doesn't interfere with our starting location. Now when we hit run, we have our main character here and then the second character. And you'll see the camera follows us. One other thing I wanted to show you is that you can adjust the scale of your camera. And that will essentially show your scene as being squashed in a certain way. So we can take our camera dot y scale or x scale and set it equal to whatever we want. Right now it's defaulted at 1, but let's set it at 0 0.2 for example. Now if we run this, you'll see that there's going to be some squashing. And you'll see that when we move left and right, it goes faster. And if you move up and down, it goes a little bit slower. So I don't know if I would recommend doing this because it makes all of your sprites, you're going to have to adjust the scale of all the sprites but this does add kind of that 3D or 2.5D like Diablo style uh, element for the camera if that's what you're after. But we'll do more work with this in the future. I just wanted to show you that initial feature for now. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and we'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.